This, of course, the first full round of matches since the passing of Paolo Rossi, uh, who died this week at the age of 64. Front page of Gazetta, the lad who scored goals. Uh, Correa saying uh, the best. Uh, meanwhile, Tutto Sport for always. Uh, Jürgen, this was quite the striker, obviously, who did it on the biggest of stages. Uh, how good was he? He was exceptional, exceptional good. Paolo Rossi was... Uh, Phenomenal in his days, obviously with the, with the highlight in the 1982 World Cup, where he almost kind of by himself you know, got, uh, got Italy the World Cup. Um, very, very sad news um, in such a young age, only 64 years of age. Um, he's been um, an idol for everyone in Italy, um, and regardless uh, what what fan you are for, if you are Juventino, if you are Milanista, Interista, it doesn't matter. Everybody admired Paolo Rossi and this is a big, big loss for, for everyone in Italy. Uh, did you know him personally at all, Jürgen? Uh, no, no, unfortunately not, no. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Gab, what's, what's the, uh, the outpouring been like in, in Italy? Uh, it's been pretty much, uh, pretty much what you expect. I mean, I think uh, Jürgen touched upon it there. The thing about... Uh, Paolo Rossi is, he was exceptional early in his career with, with smaller clubs like, like Vicenza, like Perugia. Uh, then he makes the big leap to, to, uh, to Juventus. And of course, he gets involved, uh, or he always maintained his innocence, but he got involved in that betting scandal, which you know, caused him to sit out two seasons after having been, you know, Italy's here in the 78 World Cup. Um, he sits out for two seasons, comes, hardly plays, comes back, and then, of course, 1982 ends up scoring six goals, top scorer. Italy beat uh, West Germany in the, in the, in the final 3-1. Um, uh, and he scores that famous hat-trick against Brazil, of course. Uh, but after that, he really, he really didn't really perform um, in Serie A. He bounced around. He, he had a short stint at Milan as well. So, you know, he only won the Serie A scoring title once. Um, so, in some ways, he did his best work for the Italian national team. And I think in that sense, you know, he's, he's beloved for that. Um, after retirement, he, he, he was very much sort of a free spirit, living in the countryside near, near, uh, near Prato, did some appearances on television, but was always kind of like the laid back type. And, and I think a lot of people found that, found that very, very likable uh, in him. And, and, and again, I think he's more popular because he wasn't identified with a club team, but rather with the national side. Um, I'm sure a man who your father has a lot of stories about, Matteo. Yeah, unfortunately, being in my mid-30s, I, I wasn't there to see 1982. My age, something that Gab loves pointing out on this show. But my dad would, the first stories that I heard about calcio and Italian football were from my dad about Paolo Rossi. He's almost like an institution for anyone uh, who was born in Italy and remembers those first conversations with their dad about the sport. And they would often center about the, the miraculous run of Paolo Rossi in 1982. And as Gab said, someone who his best memories are from the national team, not, not as much for his domestic uh, football in Serie A. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.